Today's video is all about cardio. This is something good to get your blood flowing before work or just to have a natural energy while you're running errands throughout the day. We're gonna start off with a warm up, two or three exercises, and you'll be good for the rest of the day. So let's get started. So first we're gonna start off with a warm up jump rope. I like this because it gets the heart pumping and the blood flowing in your body. I start off regular with just jumping rope and then I try to mix it up by jumping over the rope twice, jogging in place, jogging backwards and forwards with the rope and even doing a crisscross with the rope. As far as timing, I try to listen to a song in my headphones. Typically a song lasts between three to five minutes so I'll jump rope to the entire song, take a break, get a drink of water, wipe off some sweat and then listen to a second song. Notice that I try to stay on my tiptoes and off my heels to work on my calves and on my legs. Also, if you mess up, that's okay, just start over. And then once that second song has finished, your body should be warmed up and now you're ready to go into the workouts. So the first workout we're gonna start with is the side step in a squat position. What you'll need is a resistance band for your ankles, and a kettlebell, maybe five pounds or less. What you do is squat down in the squat position, keep your back straight and side step. I like to do between 10 to 12 side steps, take a break, and then I go the other direction. This is good because it works out the inner thigh, it also works on your glutes, and because you're holding the kettlebell, it helps tone your arms. Notice the placement of the kettlebell close to my chest. To engage your arms more, hold the kettlebell out and in front of your chest. When changing the placement of how you hold the kettlebell, you will feel a slight burning sensation in your arms. This will help with strength and toning your arms even more. Holding the kettlebell can be a little advanced, so another version of this exercise would be to tuck your arms close to your chest or you can use your own body weight by putting your arms straight out in front of you and holding while you sidestep. The second workout we're going to do is squats using the BOSU ball. I like this workout because it helps with overall balance. A lot of people don't use this ball because they find it hard to mount, but it's very easy. First what you're going to do is take all your weight and place it on one side of the ball. Lift up and then simply put the other foot on the opposite side. Once you've found your balance on the ball, we're going to squat for 10 to 12 reps. After you're finished, simply shift all your weight again to one side and cross the other leg over to get off the ball. The next exercise is again BOSU ball squats but with a kettlebell. Because the kettlebell adds extra weight, I'm going to demonstrate two ways you can mount the ball. The first way is how we did it earlier. First you'll take all your body weight on one side of the ball, stepping up and positioning your weight on the other side of the ball. You do a squat and then pick up the kettlebell that's in front of you. The second way is holding the kettlebell in your dominant hand. I am left handed so I'm going to hold the kettlebell in my left hand and I'm just going to repeat the steps from earlier by shifting all my weight on one side of the BOSU ball, lifting up and then placing my other foot on the opposite side of the BOSU ball. Once I have got my balance, I'm going to connect both of my hands on my kettlebell, lift it close to my chest and squat for reps from 10 to 12. The next exercise is the Stairmaster. 
Now, if you don't have a gym or if you do have a gym and they don't have this machine, you can easily go to a park and find stairs to jog up and down, or you can also find a stadium and jog up and down the bleachers. The Stairmaster specifically focuses on everything from the waist down. Much like the jump rope, I try to mix it up by turning in different ways on the Stairmaster so I can engage my abs and legs differently. The Stairmaster can be used as a warm up, a workout, or to cool down. Right here, we're gonna be using it as our last workout of the day. So we're gonna stay on here from 10 to 15 minutes. The last exercise is abs. This exercise is called in and outs. What you're gonna do is take your legs and put them six inches from off the ground. For balance, keep your hands near to your side and you're gonna move your legs in to your chest and out. And we're gonna do 20 reps and two sets. Now that we have finished all the exercises for today, the last thing we'll do is stretch. It's very important that we stretch to reduce muscle fatigue and soreness. Follow me as I take you through this semi-yoga routine. During each stretch position, you wanna make sure that you hold the stretch for at least 10 seconds before moving on to the next stretch. It's very important that after you finish your workout that you replenish all the nutrients that you may have lost when working out. I went to Jamba Juice and ordered the great greens which consist of cucumbers, apples, spinach, kale, lemon juice, and chia seeds. This can also be made at home. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed cardio in the gym. To get social with me, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at whoiskevinsmall. And for other fitness and fashion news, follow my official website at www.thestylelodge.com. Till then, see you next time.